Welcome back everyone to another BB Openings. Today we have 36 blister packs of Fusion Strike to open today. We're going to be comparing it to a booster box that we opened up a week or two ago. If you want to see the video for that, go check out our channel. So if you're ready, we're ready, let's hop into it. Let's start with a Mew pack since we're still missing that Mew VMAX alt art. So, if you've never opened a blister pack, it's just a regular pack inside of a, basically a cardboard pack. Artwork, as you see, doesn't always match. And I'm still working on my pack game. There we go. So, one of the good things and bad things about doing it this way is... I mean, we could get hit after hit. We could also have very bad luck. That's the thing with buying just random blister packs. So we've got Leaf Energy, Masharna, Heatmore, Cook, Vulpix, Melton, Toxel, Staryu, Mawile. Our reverse is a Stuffle, and we have a Hollow Deoxys. So, like usual, we generally have pretty good first pack magic. But a hollow out of our first one. So, on our booster box, we had about four V cards, two V maxes, and one alt art. So, I'm hoping we get better pulls than that. We'll see. White code card, so we'll just go through it quickly. There's our unlucky Snom. Lapras is our reverse. Huntail is our non hollow rare. And with uh, Starburst coming, Brilliant Stars coming out soon, let me know in the comments below if you would like to see me open any of the Japanese Starburst set. I haven't ordered any yet, just because I mainly like for Japanese sets to only open the special ones. But if you would like to see the Japanese set, let me know. So, another non-hitter. Toxel, Totodile, Bunnery, Clobopus, our reverse is a Lanoon. Electrode is our non hollow rare. Right. Genesect V artwork. We do have the alt art for Genesect. I believe we are missing still the big three Gengar, Espeon, and Mew. Besides that, I believe we're missing Sandaconda and Grievant. Fire Energy, Dancer, Pingaroo, Joodle, Shroomish, Klefki, Trubbish, Totodile, our reverse is a Clam Pearl, and we have the Grievant VMAX Rainbow card. Alright, so not the alternate art, but still a great rainbow to get out of this set. I forget how many non-trainer rainbows there are in this set. I believe there's only like two or three. I don't even know if the Mew has a rainbow. I'll have to double check that. So one good thing, if this was a booster, if we had gotten a rainbow, you're pretty much guaranteed not to get an alt art. But since we have just random blisters, we could still get an alt art. Another hit. Of course, you all your hits could end up being just regular hollows as well. Zigzagoon, Mankey, Clauncher, Growlithe, Stuffle, Reverse is a Pulse, and the Greedent VMAX non-rainbow. 
So still not the alt art, but hey, maybe this means we're getting it. So this is the one advantage of buying blisters. I mean, you take the risk, but the reward can definitely be worth it. And I will say with the fact that we know packs can be weighed for this set, the blisters are a better choice because I don't believe you can weigh them really while they're in the cardboard box. White code card. So let me know in the comments below, do you prefer to buy blisters? Do you like boosters? What do you generally buy if you're trying to chase a card? Generally me, I don't buy too many blister packs. I buy a booster and then I buy all the collection boxes that come out and hope I get it in one of those. Another white code card. I don't believe there's really any special reverses in this set. Hoping for that Gengar, whether it's the Altar or the VMAX. Don't have either yet. Since Haunter, Haunter's my favorite Gen 1, I'm a little partial to him. But Mew is also one of my favorites. White code card. So, here's the disadvantage of the blisters. You can get white after white. Persian is our reverse. So we have about a little bit over a month towards Brilliant Stars. Have you been watching all the rumors that are coming out about it? They some new alternate arts did just drop. Man, this pack is being a pain. There we go. Mainly the Charizard V art that just came out. Of course, there are still the rumors of the Rainbow Charizard V-Star. It doesn't look like there's going to be any alternate arts of the V-Star cards just yet. They might come a little bit later, maybe in later sets. Snorlax is our reverse. And a Dodrio V. So, so far, we've gotten one V-Card and two V-Maxes. If we compare the Rainbow to our alternate art, we're about on par with the booster. I'm hoping we beat the odds though. One thing is, doing it this way, it's a little bit hard to tell how many packs I have left. We did purchase all of these from one location, so I don't know if that may adjust kind of our chances whereas a lot of people if you were to do something like this may buy five or six from different places reverse is a sizzlepeed and a Gengar V so two V cards I'm still hoping for an alt art or another rainbow I'll take another rainbow Gengar artwork, it's always good luck. Except right now. So 
So our reverse is a shroomish, non-hollow rare. I have pulled the Mew V Max before. I would like another one though. I'm trying to build a Mew deck. And I haven't pulled the Mew V either. So either one of those would be nice. Not out of this one. Alright, a reverse and our non hollow rare. Second row magic. I do kind of wish the artwork match the pack that was inside just because I get a little how do I say, superstitious like if I'm searching for the Mew I want to open new packs non hollow rare And my least favorite pack artwork, the Bolton. Oh, awesome, it's got a Gengar inside. Maybe my new favorite outside pack work then. So what is your favorite alternate art in the set? Mine is definitely the Mew V, not the V Max. I know a lot of people are partial to the Gengar. The Mew V Max though is just so impossible to pull. It's like one in 2,000 packs. I think the Gengar and the Espeon are something like one in 400. We are hitting a dry spell. So hopefully we get start getting some really big hits here. Reverse is a Voltorb Gen 1. That's a sign. Next pack's gonna be a hit. Gen 1 always brings the luck. You know, the special set that's supposed to come out this summer, I'm actually kind of hoping it's a Gen 2 set, because I feel like a lot of special sets, they do reprints of Gen 1, but Gen 2 hasn't really gotten a lot of love recently, I feel like. And I definitely want my Cyndaquil, my Typhlosion. Oh, sorry, thought there was a card there. Felt sticky. Also, my favorite Gen 2 Pokemon is Nocturne. Haven't seen him in any sets in a while. Let me know what your favorite generation is. Another white one. We just cannot get lucky. It's that rainbow we took out all of our luck. There's a reverse. But we will definitely get another hit. And we have about, I would say, 12 to 15 more packs in front of us. Hopefully we'll start going on a spree that matches how many white code cards we've gotten. Grand Bull, our non-hollow rare. Also, who is picking up Arceus here soon? They've dropped a new trailer today. 
they don't seem to be showing a lot of the battle system. I'm just kind of wondering what kind of battle system it'll be. I mean, I saw abilities, but I didn't really just see a normal attack, and maybe there isn't a normal attack for your Pokemon in it. I have heard to get Arceus, you'll have to uh, complete your entire Pokedex. I wonder if that includes the challenges they've shown in a couple of the trailers, where in the Pokedex you've got to do s certain things with every Pokemon. Alright, we got something. V, V Max, something special, no hollow. Our stop, cross Seaver, Simi, Snorlax, Snom, Dreepy, Makuhita, Rookadi, a reverse is a Grubbin. And a full art schoolboy trainer. Okay, we do not have that full art yet. So if I'm trying to think what we would count the full art as. Is that, um, is that as good of a pull as a VMAX? Or should we consider that as good of a pull as like a secret rare? Gotta have another hit. Nope, back to white. Grogunk in DD is our reverse, and Zorora is our non hollow rare. I'm surprised Zorora is a non hollow rare in this set, because he has an alternate art, I believe, in Chilling Rain. That just looks amazing, and I want to get it. If he's popular enough to get an alt art, he should always be a hollow. Minimum. Alright, black code card. Water energy. Spongy gloves. Corvus Squire, Sand Slash, Phantom, Snorlax, Snom, Dreepy, Makuhida, a Reverse Adventures Discovery, and a Feraligator Rare, uh, Hollow. So I'm sort of noticing a pattern on the hit packs. They seem to have a Snom, a Makuhida in them. I don't know if that's just been a coincidence, or that's a sign of just packs you always get in hit packs. That one was stuck on the glue. That's never good. This one, of course, will have the Mew VMAX alternate art. Because <laughs> I had to bend it in half. No, nope, white code card. Okay, we're still safe. We have an Onyx Jigglypuff representing Gen 1. Claydol is our non hollow rare. Alright, I definitely miscounted the packs. We have around 12 left at this point. I would say we have beaten the odds that we got in the booster box. At least as far as full art secret rares go. We do not have as many V's yet though. We've only gotten, I believe, two and we got four out of the booster box. But I will definitely take more of the full arts and less of the V's. Unless they're the alt arts. Cook. Pantrum. Indeedee. Growlithe. Phalanx. Croconaw is our reverse, and our hit is a Serena V. Pretty common V card. We have several of her.
I'm surprised Bolton is not a more common V, considering he's on the artwork, and I feel like another set, I constantly get him. Another hit. See, we're turning it around. Went through all the bad packs. So we could end on a high note. Leaf Energy, Cross Switch, Crocanal, Excedril, Onyx, Jigglypuff, Durant, Pansir, Minim. Our reverse is a Jinx, and our hit is another for Alligator Hollow Rare. So I didn't check how many hollows we got when we opened up the booster box. And I have noticed we did not get the same cards again th this time, so we didn't have the Snom lineup. So I guess that's not the pet case, it was just a coincidence. Skitty, Phalanx, Reverse. Non-hollow rare, Slagu, Shauna. Right, Gengar on the outside. I want Gengar inside the pack. Bolton. You can still have a Gengar inside now. I think I would like one more VMAX. It doesn't have to be a super rare one. Unless it wants to be. Four to the front. Psychic energy. Maybe that's a sign we're getting the Mew. But Gengar's also psychic now. Instead of Ghost. Stuffle. Sandigast. Crocunk is our reverse. And we have a Galarian Obstacoon Hollow Rare. Last couple of hits have all been Hollow Rare, so... I would still say we're doing better than the booster box. So price-wise, this did cost us probably about 15 to $20 more. So if you're willing to take that risk, I mean, you could get all white code cards though. So it may not be a risk you wanna take. Glaring Meowth, Absol. Down to our last nine. And if you've been counting how many packs I've actually been opening, you've noticed how wrong my count has been. Another hit. Four to the front. Energy. Sharpedo. Heliosk. Dunsparce, Smeargle, Carvana, Clampearl, Morpeko, Sky Armory, Phalanx, and we have a gold Flaffy. So our first gold card from this set, I believe there's only two monster gold cards in the set. I forget what the other one is. That, we have definitely beaten the booster box odds. So if you're going out and buying 36 packs, I would say this is definitely the way to go. That is not a VMAX though, and I want a VMAX. I mean, I'm joking. I've gotten a rainbow and a gold card today. I don't really need any more, but if you want to give it to us, we'll take it. White code card, not out of this one. So I would say maybe out of a booster box you get hits more often. But they're definitely not going to be that good. You're not going to get a full art, a rainbow art, and a gold card all out of the same booster box.
Well, let me know if you actually have. I mean, I don't... I think there is a set number they put in each box. But I could be wrong. Maybe it's just completely random. So we've got a Meowth, Meryl, Reverse is Spongy, Absol is our non hollow rare. Five packs left. Three are Gengar, two are Mew. Problem is there's Genesect on the inside. I'm still hoping for an alternate art. I know we've, we've gotten a gold, we've gotten a full, we've gotten a rainbow. The only thing we're missing is an alt art. And we will have hit every type of secret rare there is. You don't have to get us the big one. Just get a Sandaconda or Grievant. Another Simi, Mudkip, Sand Shrew, Qfont, Into Imp, Snom. Our reverse is a Steelix, and our hit is another Full Art Shauna Trainer. So we've gotten two Full Arts today. I do already have a Shauna, but still, I mean, we another full art, you cannot beat it. I don't recall what the gold trainer items are in this set. All right, we've got another hit. Come on, alternate art. We will will you into existence. Starting off with Wigglytuff, Phalanx, Simi, Sizzlepede, Klefki, Pansage, Wooloo, Pancham, a reverse is a Delcati, and a Landorus Hollow Rare. Three packs left. White code card. Totodile reverse. Zorora non hollow rare. Two packs left. They are both Gengar packs. So let's go with the left one. So there will definitely be an altar in one of these. I'm saying it now. We are willing it into existence. That's what we like to see. You know what? I'll take any of them. Even one I already have. I would love another Celebi. Quick Ball. Sharpedo. Choodle. Volibee. Dupider. Meowth. Onyx. Our reverse is a Sizzlepeed. And our hit is a Rillaboom V. So I'm, I think at this point... We have matched the amount of V-cards we get we got in our booster box last time. Alright, last chance. You're gonna be in here, Gengar. V Max or Altar. That eh, see, he's even on the inside. My brother right now is trying to get a sneak peek of what color the code card is. Ah, it's white. Maybe we'll be lucky and it's a misprint. Jinx, Mantine, Grubbin, a reverse. No, an Excelagor non-hollow rare. 
All right, give me a second. I'll get the recap up for you. So our hits are, we have our Deoxys Hollow, our Landris, Galarian Obstagoon, Feraligator, V-Cards Rillaboom, Gengar, Dodrio, Serena, Greedent V-Max, our Full Art Trainer, Schoolboy, and Shauna, a Rainbow Rare, Greedent V-Max, and a gold Flaffy. So my conclusion is buying it individually in blisters is way more lucky. But you'll have to take the risk and see for yourself. See you in the next video.